This is Bob. He works as an experimentalist in a systems biology project. This is Alice. She's a modeler in the same project. She does simulations of what theoretically should happen in the experiments. She works 500 miles away from Bob. They work together on a large and interesting research question. On a daily basis, Bob sends data to Alice. He normally puts it into a spreadsheet and sends it by email. Sometimes Alice gets a bit annoyed because each time the data looks different. No, not the results, but rather how the data is distributed on the sheet. Alice complains that she spends too much time writing software to make sense of the spreadsheets before actually starting to model the biological data contained in them. Sometimes Alice has to ask Bob what he really means when he sends the data. What does the H in cell E1 mean? What about the star in cell F1? Sometimes Alice has to ask Bob about old long-forgotten experiments. What did the star in the table header mean? He has to look up that information in the lab notebook. Sometimes Alice misunderstands the representation of the data and has to redo everything when the mistake is realized. The lack of standardization and organization of data is no walk in the park for Bob either. Bob often gets new students that he needs to compile and hand the data to, but this can take him weeks to find everything and make it viewable for the new researcher. Bob has had requests from other researchers about data from his papers. This data is archived and long forgotten. He struggles to piece the original data together and has missed out on potential collaborations as a result. Bob and Alice's bosses also don't find this to be the perfect approach to work. With a large turnover of staff on shorter contracts and other natural disruptions such as illness, parental leave or researchers moving up the career ladder via new institutes, managing and keeping track of all this data for the group becomes an impossible task. But there is a better way to handle research data. The formats of data can be predefined so that the identity of every cell, of every column, of every row has an underlying identity that is known. This is known as a standardized format. The data sheets can be annotated with metadata so that all information required to reproduce the experiment is packaged with the data itself. Standardized data improves Alice and Bob's research collaboration by preventing misunderstandings. This data, using these annotations, can then be stored in linked systems or common resources that allow colleagues, collaborators and the public to find, access, combine and reuse this data when appropriate. Even better, there are teams dedicated to doing this research. Coordinated work on standards for formatting and annotating data. Teams that generate whole dictionaries to exactly describe the nature of the data. Teams that build resources for public management of data. Teams that help you to help yourself. Teams that are participating in work on data and model standards. Teams that continuously shape, follow and translate the newest changes in research and associated data and model management best practices for use in your work. Teams that listen to how your group or your multi-site collaborative project want to handle your data and then propose tailored solutions based on the right standards and standard components. Teams that help you in using the best available data and model management to your best benefit in your lab with your science in your scientific context. Teams that provide resources where you can put and manage your data and models in a findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable manner. Teams like us.